Howard here at kiteboarding.com and we want to do another tech talk. What is today? It's on fly lines. I want to give you a little bit of knowledge. We've had some emails, we've had some phone calls, and we have some people call us asking things such as pre-stretch, settling in, um, uh, the stiffness of the lines, the coloring of the lines, and different types of lines. Now what I want to give you is the down into the nit and gritty about fly lines. Fly lines are either spectra or dyneema. They are braided. So when a person says that a line has stretch, spectra and dyneema does not stretch until it hits about the, and only at 4% at its breaking strength. And that is a lot of load. What it actually is and what you feel and what you call stretch is the fibers lining up. So everything is in a braid and what will happen is, is when it relaxes, the fibers will relax like this. When you pull on them and load, they will begin to, to tighten up in those lines. So I don't call it stretch. I like to call it settling in. The lines will settle in and line up. Now, a tighter braid line, a higher quality type higher braid line will have less tendency to lock in or elongate and get a little bit longer what people want to call stretch. So a lower cost line usually isn't treated treated in there to reduce that feeling that you tendency get. So what will happen is, is this here is a very low cost, it's a trainer type kite line, not serious in the flying side, not loaded up. So if it has a little bit of lock in or elongating out, it's not a problem. It will settle in and will get that break. So if you touch this stuff, it's very, very fine and very, very soft. There is no treatment on it. So what they do to make a line a better quality fly line over the years is they've treated it. So after you do a braid such as this, this is a white line and you can tell it's been treated because it's stiff. It's got some stiffness to it. And what I mean by treating, after it's braided, they will cause a tension on it and they'll pull it through a treatment. And that stiffening or that coating that they put on the line keeps the fibers lined up. So that's why someone says, are these pre-stretched lines? The line, almost every single bar out there in kite surfing that I have seen over many years is definitely a treated type line. All of them have jumped up. There are some out there that may have uh, white with a little tracer lines going through it. Those are definitely lower cost lines. They reduce the cost, it's a quicker braid, and you will feel some of that elongating in there. So. All of these bars here, we've got a great setup of fly lines, and one thing a lot of the guy asks is, my front lines are thicker than my back lines. Just recently, in the past couple of years, a couple of the manufacturers are making the front lines which take more of the load. If you think about it and you ask, your, your front lines are a little bit longer than your outside lines. Yes, that is true. That's because they are loaded consistently and they will not stretch, they will settle in a lot more than your outside lines. So um, when you make the front lines a little bit thicker, you will reduce that tendency. So they load them up a little bit more, they put a higher strength line in the front. Is it needed? Well, let me tell you, a line set, if you break it, I have not seen a line set just flat out break for its load that's been on the line. It's always got some kind of nick, some kind of wear spot or something. These lines are manufactured to have a breaking strength somewhere in the neighborhood. Don't lock me down on numbers. It all depends on the manufacturer and everything else. It breaking strength is somewhere in the upper 700, can, can be all the way up to a thousand pounds. So you can imagine, you're not even anywhere near the weight load of one line. So if a line breaks, there's usually a cause for it. it either rubbed against another line, or you, uh, you got tangled around a rock, or something that nicked that line. That's what's going to break it. So the older lines in the last couple years, if they're consistently the same size, don't worry about it. If you need to replace your lines, you don't have to get the ones that are thicker on the front and the thinner on the back. You don't have to have that. Everything worked for many years. These things are rated if they're a full-on line set and sold by one of the guys out there in its kite surfing line set, you're not gonna have a problem in breaking those lines. Now, how they hook up to your bar is what a lot of people are doing. So let me show you. This is what we call, in most cases, a sleeve line. A lot of people do not know why they're sleeved. Spectra has a very, very low melting point. Anything that'll rub across this line. This line is a very high rated 800 pound. If you took some 10 cent cotton line and ran across this, this line will lose. 
Cotton has a lower melting point, or I'm sorry, a higher melting point. This is a lower one. If you zip it across here, a 10 cent little kid's line, it will cut these like butter. And I've had it done, so believe me, it was, it's not a good thing. So what they do is they sleeve them for wear and tear. And the heating and the load with you undoing and loading and, and constantly tying these on. Now, if you see this sleeving start to wear on here, don't have a big worry about it, but you will want to put pigtails on or have these re-sleeved and re-stitched. But if you start seeing this wear and you see the spectra inside of there, you're not going to break that spectra right off. Make sure it's clean and there's not sand, but get a set of pigtails so the wear and tear go on the pigtails and not the fly line. So that's something you want to be aware of. Um, but all in all, fly lines are settling in, uh, stretch or whatever it is, that is your truth about fly lines and how they, how they work and what will happen and how they're manufactured. So, if you ever have any questions and you want to lengthen out your lines, you want to change some lines, we custom make them. We make them in anything. We can fix any of these line sets. But let me tell you, the stuff is rated at high rated and you don't need to worry about it as much as some people do. They'll call us and ask us a lot of questions about it. If there's wear marks on these lines, inspect them once in a while. They will last you for many years. Clean them out. Get the salt off of them so you don't get the salt granules building up inside of these lines. So, that's Jeff Howard at kiteboarding.com. We hope to educate you a little bit more so you understand. Give us a call if you have any questions. Have a great day.